टाइम एंड मोशन इंट्रोडक्शन मेजरमेंट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूजफुल प्रोसेस इन साइंस एंड इन आर डेली लाइफ we make measurement all the time a carpenter measures the length of a table he is going to make a vegetable seller measures the mass of vegetables person at petrol pump measures the volume of petrol doctor measures your body temperature when you are ill and you measure time to reach school in time the measurement of time is difficult in comparison to measurement of mass or length because the mass or length of substance does not change with time but time does change with the passage of time time once lost cannot be regained or retrieved therefore for the measurement of time we need more scientifically developed instruments measurement of time it is difficult to imagine a house an office a school without a clock a clock is a device that is used to measure time time is the gap between two events the standard unit of time is second the other units being minutes hours day etc a second is 1 upon 86900 path of a mean solar day 24 hours 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour 24 hours is equal to 1 day 365 days is equal to 1 year 10 years is equal to 1 decade 10 decades is equal to 1 century 10 centuries is equal to 1 millennium periodic events there are many events that are repeated after a regular interval of time we call such events as periodic events and the intervals as periods coming of seasons occurrence of day and night are examples of periodic events occurrence of your birthday every year is also an example of the same the events that are not periodic are said to be non periodic events coming of floods and earthquakes are non periodic events sundial it is one of the primitive devices used to measure time it is based on the fact that the shadow of an object changes its length and position with the position of the sun the sundial consists of a piece of metallic triangular plate fixed vertically on a circular board in such a way that the plate casts a shadow on the board and the position of the shadow can be used to calculate the time apart from the sundial there are other primitive instruments of measuring time such as well like the candle clock hour glass water clock etc the hour glass consists of two rounded glass bulbs connected by a narrow neck of glass the top bulb was filled with sand and a measured amount of sand particles streamed down from the top bulb into the bottom bulb giving the time measurement of time using periodic motion motion that is repeated after a fixed interval of time is said to be periodic motion devices like watch and clock are all based on periodic motion one of the most well known periodic motion is that of a simple pendulum our ancestors noticed that many events in nature repeat themselves after definite intervals of time for example you found that sun rises every day in the morning the time between one sunrise and the next was called a day similarly a month was measured from one new moon to the next a year was fixed as the time taken by the earth to complete one revolution of the sun simple pendulum a small mass suspended from a fixed point and allowed to swing freely under the influence of gravity is called a pendulum a simple pendulum consists of a small metallic bob suspended from a rigid stand by a thread as shown in the figure when the bob of the pendulum is released after taking it slightly to one side it moves to and fro this movement of bob from its mean position to extreme position is an example of periodic or oscillatory motion the pendulum is said to have completed one oscillation when its bob starting from its mean position o moves to a to b and back to o the pendulum also completes one oscillation when its bob moves from one extreme position a to the other extreme position b and come back to a the time taken by pendulum to complete one oscillation is called the time period
To measure the time period of the pendulum, we need a stopwatch. To set the pendulum in motion, gently hold the bob and move it slightly to one side, making it sure that the string attached to the bob is tight while you displace it. Now, release the bob from the displaced position. Note the time on the clock when the bob is at the mean position. Instead of mean position, you may note the time when the bob is at one of the extreme positions. Measure the time the pendulum takes to complete an oscillation. Record your observations as shown in the table. Your observations could be different from this. Repeat this a few times and record your observations. Note that a slight change in the initial displacement does not affect the time period of your pendulum. Nowadays, most clocks or watches have an electric circuit with one or more cells. These clocks are called quartz clocks. The time measured by quartz clocks is much more accurate than by clocks available earlier. Some common terms related to a simple pendulum are oscillation. One complete back and forth movement of a pendulum from mean position to extreme and back to mean position. Effective length. The length of the string from the fixed position to the center of bob. Amplitude. The distance between the mean and extreme position is called amplitude. Frequency. The number of complete oscillation made in one second is said to be frequency. Time period. The time taken for one complete oscillation is said to be time period. Factors affecting the time period of a pendulum. Time period does not depend on amplitude. Time period does not depend on mass of the bob. Time period depends only on the length of the string. Slow and fast motion. Motion of an object can be slow or fast. If an object covers a given distance in a short interval of time, it is said to be fast. If on the other hand, the time taken is more, the motion is said to be slow. Every day, we seldom find objects moving with a constant speed over long distances. If the speed of an object moving along a straight line keeps changing, its motion is said to be non-uniform motion. On the other hand, an object moving along a straight line with a constant speed is said to be in uniform motion. In this case, the average speed is same as the actual speed. Speed The speed of an object is defined as the distance covered by it in a unit time. Speed is equal to distance covered by an object divided by time taken to cover the distance. Unit of speed in SI system, the unit of speed is meter per second. If the distance covered is very small, then speed is expressed in centimeter per second or centimeters minus one. If the distance is very large, the speed is expressed in kilometer per hour. Uniform speed a body is said to be moving with uniform speed if it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, a car moving on a highway. Variable speed. A body is said to be moving with variable speed if it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or equal distances in unequal intervals of time, however small the time interval may be. For example, a car moving on a busy market street. Two kinds of meters are fitted on the dashboard of a car. One of the meters has kilometer per hour written at one corner. This is known as speedometer, which measures the speed. There is another meter called odometer, which measures the distance covered by the vehicle.